Okay, hello, hi, this is Ryan Ahmed with you, and uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, install Collect uh, D on Debian GNU Linux. Now, uh, Collect D, as you see from its own website, collectd.org, okay, is a daemon that collects uh, system performance statistics, okay, periodically and uh, provides uh, mechanic uh, mechanisms to store value, values in a variety of ways, okay, for example, RD files. Now it's not the matter of RLD files or whatever, it's just all what we need to have in the end is something similar to this graph. Okay, and uh, my method here is just to use the uh, browser so you can uh, access uh, your system from uh, anywhere uh, in this world. Okay, so uh, using a, P a PHP script of course. Now, uh, the way to uh, uh, download and install the uh, packages on Debian GNU Linux okay the required packages not how to install the packages uh, in general so first of all I do uh, app get install collect D as you see here okay and it will download the uh, collect D server plus uh, or the daemon plus uh, the plugins okay there are some plugins which you have uh, to enable so you can uh, get the graph uh, that you are in need of. You don't have to do all kinds of stats, just a number of them are enough. Okay, so after this, I install the RD Perl and libconfig general Perl and uh, libhtml parser Perl and uh, libregex uh, common Perl. Okay, then of course, make sure that Apache. The web server and uh, lib apache 2 uh, mod 5 sorry are uh, there and installed because uh, you, as we as i said it's a php script that we're going to run now that php script comes with uh, the packages of uh, collect d in the examples folder of collect d okay so uh, all that you have to do it of course as uh, your uh, root user now uh, now we have to copy the scripts also to the document uh, the document root of uh, Apache the document root of, of Apache web server uh, and all around the world if you want to uh, reach a website and open a website there should be a folder which contains so many scripts so many uh, HTML files Okay, which uh, your web server should or the the, the website should uh, provide them for you and uh, publish them to you okay so the document root folder is the of Apache is the that folder that contains all those uh, scripts and HTML files which should be published uh, to you so uh, the folder that uh, by default Apache takes is slash var slash www now the scripts are on this folder so we're going to copy them right on so uh, minus r slash usr share doc now you may use the uh, tab key on your keyboard so you can uh, do uh, name completion so it can be quicker for you okay so uh, uh, collect d then slash for two examples then we get php collection okay this is the source directory so I'm going to move them to slash var slash ww okay here just to show you okay the whole command okay I'm going to zoom back so you can read better now um After this, after we copy this, we have to make that folder, uh, of course, readable, chmod by others. So you can anytime uh, modify the script, okay? The, even if somebody has, uh, will uh, mess with it, it's not that big deal, okay? It's just a statistics uh, app, okay? So uh, minus R, okay, to take the whole folder of PHP collection okay 
and you see there are those files now uh, the files that you will copy does not uh, don't have this tilde in the end that's because I edited, uh, edited them myself uh, with my editor it makes me backup copies of the index.php for example config.php okay we'll see how to uh, configure the, uh, those okay after this uh, just for us to make sure that uh, collect is uh, correctly running so service collect the start okay now uh, the configuration file of collect is here so vi slash etc collect the conf action and okay so uh, moving on uh, the file collectd.conf does not exist in uh, this folder this is where the default folder file for collectd so what i do is i also copy from the examples this collectd.conf so so cp uh, slash usr uh, share uh, doc uh, collectd.conf uh, collect the examples collect the dot conf okay to slash etc collect the okay then I restart okay I uh, forget about this this does not uh, the thresholds and the filters if they are not there it's not a big deal okay so what I do is a uh, vi slash etc collect the and uh, I want to uh, run the uh, uh, temperature uh, monitoring, okay, and the CPU. So uh, collect the dot conf, and here I look for, for example, the CPU. You see something like they start all of them with a hashtag, okay? If you notice, there's a hashtag. This means this the following line or the line that uh, starts with the hashtag is a com is commented which means it is uh, offline does not work this mean uh, this is what does it mean okay so see I load plugin is opened it's uh, allowed uh, to run and uh, disk uh, free also the anything regarding disk okay also I want to run the things regarding the temperature of the machine so temp also the hard disk temperature and there's also the sensors because this this is the one that deals with the uh, sensors okay and also you have to configure it okay not this one not IPMPI okay, so I the sensors in general and this is the sensors config file okay and as such that's because I don't have them the uh, sensor IT either okay you should have had uh, sensors uh, D okay this one named like the sensors D this is uh, another server you should have had it installed okay so just making sure that I'm writing correctly so because I'm using VI editor I press escape then the colon shift the two dots over each other and then uh, type WQ small WQ and press enter to save the file then let's start the collect these cells okay now uh, you know we have copied the uh, script of PHP so this is the script of uh, PHP okay so um, Let's uh, start over, uh, remove all graphs, okay, and uh, also delete this one. So we're starting over from the start, okay. So you access it uh, from your on within on your machine, localhost PHP collection like this, cool. And the PHP collection 
is the script that we just copied it will communicate locally with the uh, collect this server you don't have to uh, communicate uh, put on uh, like a uh, service or uh, turn on the networking plugin as mentioned in the uh, collectd.conf okay now this is my own server okay now uh, if you want we can uh, go here I have had the uh, config file opened yes so if you notice here let me zoom it more so if you notice here I have see minutes and then past minute and second 60 so this is added by me over here so by default you start from past hour I added past minute so you see you will see a graph about anything that happened in the last uh, minute or the last hour okay so I select the plugin that I want for example I want the uh, CPU okay and uh, here I have let's say, say about a CPU zero only and it's a CPU of course there's nothing else and if you want to see about everything you can just type all entries okay and uh, within the past minute and add graph and then you can save that graph by clicking the S here okay so it will be saved to your cookies and next time you want to start uh, access this uh, script you just simply press the uh, load uh, graph from cookies okay so every time you will be refreshing the script now this one here does not refresh automatically unless you do something in the script okay? there is something in the JavaScript of this interface that I had to do it just to uh, make it auto refresh which is this one now I'll have to stop this because it will start, slow down the uh, recording okay and uh, in the folder PHP config uh, PHP collection I mean of the script that we were uh, seeing okay um, go to the file called uh, browser.js and see there's a function here in the Java script okay called uh, graph refresh all okay so you put this line at the end so this means that this function will be uh, recalled every every two seconds okay uh, but I don't really really uh, advise it okay uh, to let it run on your own device on, on your own machine like uh, locally like uh, uh, you're running uh, the script and the web server and uh, the, the, the collect uh, D server okay all uh, from the same machine okay uh, and you're seeing it locally like you're opening the local server you know there's no other machine you're uh, monitoring okay uh, without using any other machine just directly one-to-one uh, -one yourself okay you and your machine alone so uh, this will like slow down the uh, uh, the machine a lot and with it will heat it up okay so just manage this to be something uh, of longer time but it will update automatically by itself okay so um, that's it okay um, this is how uh, collect D works and uh, thanks for watching